Hello everyone, welcome back to Peggy or playing every game ever. Today we finished the Bioshock Infinite and its DLC on Shreem. And if you ever want to come by Shreem, you can recommend any game for me to play and I'll add it to the list. And uh, we'll be playing Dang and Rampa next. Which someone recommended, I'm not quite sure, but... So, this game... I... I just finished it and I... It's like the... I feel weird, like I don't even know... How to explain... So, let me just provide the context. This game is like... The weirdest game I've probably ever played. I mean, the gameplay is normal and fine. It's uh, decently basic, but the story is just... I'm just like, what? <laughs> the story is like so insane and makes no sense to me that... Like, I feel c confused. Like, I'm not just confused about the story, I feel like my entire life is just confusing. <laughs> like, I'm just... I feel just like confused just like in general like I don't know what is going on like I feel extremely weird like this game is just like what I have absolutely no clue what the hell just happened <laughs> and I just finished it like I know kind of what they were going for but it just doesn't really make any sense But it also makes like kind of sense. I don't, it's super hard to explain. So sh if you want to play a game that will just like has decent gameplay, decent to good gameplay and just confuses the hell. If you just like want to be extremely confused, like if you like movies that make no sense. Or if you like, I guess, decrypting stories, because I don't, I don't know, I'm lost. But if you like the, that type of game, it's a shooter with powers and the story is extremely confusing. So if, I don't know if that sounds interesting to anyone, but I mean, if you just want to play a game where just the strangest things are happening around you and you're just kind of just like cruising around while <laughs> I don't know, while there's like nothing happens around you, but also everything and it just doesn't make any sense. Kind of hard to explain, but if that sounds interesting, then you should play this game. But let's get into like the overall game itself. Um, so I'll start with the pros. Is the atmosphere is pretty good at the, at the beginning. The story is like normal, and then it starts going all crazy. But like the areas that you explore are interesting. And because like the story is so crazy, a lot of random stuff happens and the atmosphere is like very different than other games. It's just, I guess it's pretty unique just because of how wacky it is. And the powers are different. The first two games, the powers are the same, I think, or very similar. In this one, they're like all different, which is good. Mm, and the UI is cool in this one. And you, there's a couple of new mechanics. Like Bioshock 1 and 2 didn't really have that many mechanics. You just had gun, power, melee. And in this one, there's a couple new ones like a grapple hook, stuff like that. And the idle animations for the powers are cool. Like, for example, there's a bird power where you shoot at a bunch of birds. And when you're idle, your hand like turns, like it gains feathers and like crow talons and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And you have a partner that helps you throughout the game and they're actually useful. They can't be damaged or killed or anything and they just give you free stuff. So that's good. And there's also an arrow that tells you exactly where you need to go at all times. But in this one, it's not like actually on your screen. You can, you have to like press a button. So it's not like obtrusive like the other games. And another one of the unique 
there's a grapple hook which is like a, a new added mechanic and there's also like the reason this game is so confusing is because there's multiple different like realities and timelines but you you can actually like take stuff from other timelines and bring it into yours which is pretty interesting but it you only bring in like ammo and health so it's not really too much and the characters there's my favorite characters there's I like some of the characters in here there's um there's two people who are like I think they're like pretty much just gods and they they've like been in the past present and future then the way they talk is funny and I like those guys so the cons I actually only wrote down one uh, is that the face animations are weird and some the other animations that aren't like the idle animations for the powers are kind of weird and like a bit off-putting and what I mixed on is the difficulty the enemies do a lot of damage in this game but your partner gives you free healing and stuff so it's just kind of like and you can't hold on to healing in this game like in the last one so you have to like either just camp by a vending machine or just hope that your partner gives you health and there are darker themes in this one like it's a lot more brutal and bloody which i guess might be a pro i don't i put it in mixed and another thing i mix on is that there's certain guns and powers that are just way better than the other ones so you're only really going to use like two guns and two powers ups and in the base game you can have you have all the powers available to you but you can only have two guns at a time but in the dlc they let you have all the guns but the dlc is so short and you barely even really use them that it doesn't really matter too much and the story i mean i put it in mixed but i don't know it literally makes absolutely no sense i mean a couple of the things i could pick up on because i played the first two games first if I didn't do that, then I would not know at all what the hell. But, I mean, it doesn't really make any sense. There's a couple of parts that kind of make a tiny bit of sense, but... I don't know. It was kind of interesting because you never knew what was going to happen. But I also kind of want to... Because I don't know if I really care about this story too much. But I guess given that the gameplay wasn't that unique, the story being just like nonsense, at least I didn't really understand. And from what I saw, a lot of other people didn't really understand what was going on at all when I did research after. So it's because the gameplay is meh, meh. It's just like very, it's like very basic. It's not, they don't really do anything new. So you like kind of want the story to carry since the gameplay is basic, but the story just makes absolutely no sense. And there's a little bit of backtracking in a couple places where you just have to, and I guess there's a decent, actually, I guess that'd be a con. There's a pretty decent amount of backtracking. But I don't really mind that too much because it's not, so all the honestly pretty much all the places in this game look very similar unless if you're like going to one of the crazy places but in general you're in like a city two different cities and they both look pretty like pretty much the same no matter where you go so backtracking it doesn't really matter because it all just looks like just a basic city pretty much so i don't i honestly don't know what to give this game as a like a score I'm just so confused. Like I just like feel in like in general I just feel confused right now. Like I'm not even thinking about the story, I just feel confused. I don't know what the hell's happening. But if I guess if I had to give it a score. Uh, I, I have no clue. I actually don't know what to give this. I don't, I really don't know. It's like seven, anywhere from like 
5 to 7.8, I don't know. It might be a bit higher, but since I played all the games in order, the gameplay is very similar, so it just kind of got repetitive. But overall, if, if I was going to play any of the Bioshock games, like if I was recommended to lose one, I would probably recommend Bioshock 2 Remastered. That's the one I played. I don't know what the difference between Remastered and Normal is. Unless you really like, you really like like watching movies that don't make any sense or just stuff like that. Like if you are really like watching or playing stuff that just it makes no sense and it's just super confusing and crazy, then I guess I would recommend this one over that one. But overall, I, I don't know, this game is just super confusing. Definitely the weirdest one I've ever played. And we'll see if another game can take that spot, I guess, in the future. But it definitely has some stiff competition with this game, because... I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> it's just... Thanks, everyone. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And hopefully you'll pop by my streams. And have a good rest of your days, guys.